Hello guys, it's Cash here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a working blood overlay in Roblox Studio, where this will basically just have a kind of like Call of Duty uh, kind of blood overlay, which say you were getting hit in the face or something, you're bleeding, you would see all the blood, not just completely clear vision. Alright, let's get started. First things first, you want to make your overlay. Um, I already made mine. You guys can use Pixlr or anything you want to make yours, or you can just find one for free online. Go to Game Explorer in the View tab, and now I'm going to press Publish. Now, we need to have it published if we want to do this, um, but you don't actually have to do this at all. Uh, this is all like if you just want to see all the images and stuff that you have. So what we're really going to do is create a new GUI if you don't have one already. Um, let's just go ahead and delete this. And let's call this the blood or no, the health GUI. Now we're going to put ignore GUI inset. So this is basically, it's not going to be a blank bar up here. This is just, just make sure you always have this checked. Now we're going to add another thing which is going to be an image label. Let's change the size to 1010, which sets the complete size to one, and it takes up the whole screen. Now, background transparency is gonna be one. All this, make sure you have all this. And then, we're gonna add the actual image. Now. As you can see, it's not going to do anything because we don't have this game published. So that's what I was saying. Let's go ahead and publish. And add new to this game. There we go. So now as you can see, we have images. We're going to import blood overlay. And now that we've imported it, we're just going to press right here. Blood overlay. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Now let's call this blood overlay. Now, uh, now that we have this, what we want to do is, since their screen will stretch, that's perfect the way it is. We don't have to do any coding or anything for that. Um, now it's on stretch, which is perfect. Uh, so here's what I want to do. The image transparency. So with a little bit of math, we can actually change the image transparency to be something like this. So if I change it to 1, like that. So it needs to be about 0 0.8 if you're getting hit. So it'll be perfectly aligned with your health, is what I'm saying. So let's do local script. And let's call this health overlay client. And we're only going to need a client. This is all going to be client side. Nothing is really going to be um, like uh, on the server. So we're going to create some variables. First of all, local player is equal to game.players.local player. Local character equals to player dot character or player dot character added weight. There we go. Then local humanoid equals character find first child humanoid. There we go. Now it's time for all the coding. So we're going to do while true do if or no while true do uh, we actually need one more variable local blood overlay is equal to script dot parrot we're going to do while true do humanoid or no blood overlay dot image transparency is equal to the humanoid dot health 
right? Now, if I did this, it's gonna be like that, but it's gonna be really weird. So we're not gonna, like, so we need this, the transparency, the max is one. So if it's gonna get 100 health, that's not gonna make sense. So we're gonna have to do this divided by, well, if we did by one, it'd still be 100, by 10, it would be 10, and by 100, it would be uh, 0.1, or just one. So we're gonna do humanoid health divided by 100. Okay? So let's try this out. As you can see, we got an error. Attempt to index node with health. So with the humanoid.health, the reason it's saying this is because we need a wait before this in a wait after this. If that wasn't an error, I would have actually crashed, my bad. Uh, so it's at a wait here and a wait here. Now it should work. Boom, as you can see, it's working. If I was to go on the client side and go to the humanoid and change the health to five, boom, I got that, 80. It works like a charm. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty simple. I'm gonna leave the code in a paste of in down below. So make sure to check this out. If you guys want a link to this, um, I'm also gonna save it to Roblox just now. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a very simple thing to make. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for new tutorials like this. See you guys in the next video. Peace.